Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey says two separate cases, one involving a woman found dead at her Brandon apartment and another with a jogger being shot in the leg, are connected. The officers, everybody working hard on this case, protecting the citizens of Rankin County. The first case happened Friday on Castle Woods Boulevard around 5 a.m. A female jogger says someone shot her in the left thigh while she was jogging. Before they knew the cases were connected, deputies say they were looking to throw the book at the suspect. If we get our hands on them, we'll go with attempted murder on them, you know, uh, in a drive-by shooting. That victim told deputies she saw a white SUV driving towards her. As the vehicle passed, she heard a pop. That's when the woman says she realized she had been shot. She described the driver of the vehicle as a white male with facial hair, wearing a ball cap in his mid-20s. Late Friday, deputies discovered a second crime with a similar vehicle description. Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey says around 420 Friday, family members called deputies and asked them to do what's called a welfare check here at the vineyard at Castle Woods Apartments. Now, a welfare check is basically when deputies go out to check on someone that family members hadn't heard from in a while. Well, they say when they went into that apartment, they found a 30 year old woman dead. Her vehicle missing. Deputies called for a nationwide manhunt to track down the victim's boyfriend, 28 year old Alex Deaton, in connection to her missing vehicle, missing phone, and the suspicious circumstances surrounding her death. The sheriff says they also got a call about doing a welfare check on Deaton. As far as the connection, is it possible that uh, all three of these things are related? Yes, but am I, 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 I don't, I can't say very much more about it than that. In Rankin County, Tammy Eswick, 16 WAPT News.